Hi guys, Phil back for another video and um, this is sort of connected to videos I've already done in terms of sneakers. Um, I don't know if like me, you have a lot of sneakers. I mean, you can see sneakers back there. I've got shoe rack downstairs with my daily drivers in. I've got shoe boxes and wardrobe, uh, above the wardrobe with shoes in. Um, I've got... <coughs> I've got uh, in the bedroom, I've got a bookcase. The bottom shelf is basically just full of boxes of Yeezys. Then I've got some slides on a shelf. There's two boxes everywhere. Um, but my daily driver section was getting a bit full, like really full of stuff. So I'm trying to think of other storage. Now, we all know, as you can clearly see, storage boxes. Everyone's seen them in videos. But for me, in the UK anyway, found they're quite expensive to get large size ones I mean I'm talking like I, I, I've I worked at a company that was doing started to do storage and did like the uh, display units where you could tuck one shoe in and another shoe on top um, but then they started doing boxes but the boxes were flat packed and you put them together and it was up to a size I think it was it US 11 so a UK 10 you know, and they weren't very wide. It was so. so I mean, they, they couldn't even they only just fit like women's high heel stuff in. It was, but other than that, I've seen boxes elsewhere that are quite expensive. And then I came across these, so I thought I'd just do a quick little video talking about them, showing you how they come and showing you thing. I've got this is my second setting set actually. I've already got four down there. This is another box of four. Um, these come from. Costco of all places, so obviously you have to be a member of Costco. Costco UK just got these in I think at the beginning of the month. Uh, so you got four pack of stackable shoe boxes. They weigh an absolute ton. Um, so yeah, you have to put them together yourself. As you can see, come with double sided doors. So you got full side down or just the front, depending which way you're displaying them. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, I think it's 38, 30, you know, 39, 98, so 40 quid for four. Um, which I thought, I've seen I've seen shoe boxes online for like 25 quid a box. Which is insane to me that you'd pay that much for one shoe box or shoe container. Um, so these are a good, I mean, I've, I've got the four set up there and I think they're awesome. Um, they, I've got large... Like I say, large feet. I've got size. I'm a size 12 or 13. I've even got two pairs of size 14s because they were all the things that were in stock. Well, yes, yeah, so there's a pair down there that's some Zoom Airs that got in Florida years ago. Um, they're a size 14. Uh, I think they're a is it 15 US, 14 UK. The bottom of there, you can't see them. There's another pair of Zoom Airs. Zoom Airs, for some reason, I've got in. That's a. Zoom Airs are a UK size 14, US 15. Mm. Hold on, I haven't undone all the tape. So yeah, it fits those in. It fits super wide shoes. Like I've got, you can easily, like I said, the Zoom Air, the Zoom Air high tops I've got down there are very wide. You can easily fit in. Um, I've got two pairs of uh, Adiform Qs, which if you've seen them, you know how wide they are. They fit in easily. So yeah, you get four in a box, which come like this. What you get, as you can see in there, there's your four. And all you do, pull them out, put them together. Um, quite easy to do. The only thing you've got to be wary of is what's the top and what's the bottom. You, basically the instructions is you put the three sides together, then you put the bottom on and then the top. If you get that the wrong way around, you end up with the doors on the front. Let's just pop that back down over there. You know, with these doors on the front, if you don't do it right, that'll be upside down. So, yeah. Just, you just got, that's the only thing you'll be wary of when constructing them, that you get the tops and the bottoms right, and that the little, you can see these little handles, they're both facing upwards, well, the same direction. Because um, that's the last thing you put on that door, it's like uh, little, what would you say, little holes, and you just you, you slightly bend the plastic and put it in. 
But yes, yeah, so you've got to make sure that that's facing upwards. So and then to when the bottom panel goes on, the little dots are at the bottom. It's the only thing I'd be wary of. Otherwise, they're quite a doddle. They just clip together quite easily. So I'll do that now. I'll clip them together and we'll show you what they look like when they're finished. Back in a sec. And there you have it. One quick construction job later. We have one massive, as you can see, box. So you've got, like I said, the drop down at the front. Uh, it's got little magnets in that attach to little tiny screws that have been placed in there. So it's literally magnet shut. Same on this side. Drop down flap, magnets and little tiny screws. In this case, inside there. Simple as. Uh, it's snapped together. Uh, if I try and show you, you see the little things there. It's just... It's called a tongue and groove, it's kind of, it's, you know, the, the hole and you just slide it in and snap it in place. Bit of force, feels a bit scary at first, but once you've done like one or two, it's just like snap, 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 all sorted. In terms of how big a shoe you can get in these, let me just, I've got some Yeezys down here, because these are my, these are the old Bone 350 V2s. These are my summer shoes, so I took them off my daily driver rotation. That up. You can clearly see how much room is in there. There's a lot, a lot of room inside there. These are a size 13 UK, so you know they're still. You could get a 50. I'm mean, sure you should get a UK 15 in there. But let's just show you this one. In terms of the width, like I say, I've got two pairs of Adiform Qs. Now you can see how, yes I have worn these ones, <laughs> you see how wide that shoe is, that shoe is a very, that's my widest shoe I think, you pop that in, and then hit the second one, and even with a massively wide shoe, you've just got enough room there for those, height wise plenty of room, you can get height ups in there, no problem whatsoever, like I say, not bad so you can either Stack them that way, pull your shoes up from the front, stack them sideways, whatever your preference is. I've currently got mine sideways. I was going to do them um, front facing, but it's a waste of space, it's too much space there, so I've done mine side on. Draw to the front, literally just behind there. And like I said, I'm putting in, um, sort of rotating my daily drivers. So at the minute, all my summer shoes, all my little worn shoes are in these and then um i've put in a couple of this couple of shoes i've bought, I've bought that i'm not probably never going to wear um these are the power here reebok did the is it the question mids power ranger ones the box for that is way too big to have them in it's massive because it's got like the thing to make the sort it's ridiculously huge it's like three shoe boxes wide so they're going to go in um one of those as a, i bought some i managed to get some home alone forums um adidas from tk maxwell places like 15 quid it's ridiculously cheap still with all the all the um, badges and stuff all the things it yep yeah, just no box as usual with tk max so they're going there it's just like display pieces but otherwise i've got like say some old high tops a pair of nike air force ones made by use that i've done that are like shattered backboard colors the videos on the channel um i said all of my yeezy 350s they must, and the um, two pairs of Adiform Qs actually, because I'm, I'm going to put both of them in. I'm not going to really keep them boxes because I'm going to wear them in summer. Um, yeah, so it'd be that's three, and then a random fourth pair. <laughs> you can even, like I say, you can even stack one on top when you're finished. Do you know what I mean? You can use that for displaying and stuff. Yeah, so I just thought I'd show you that. Uh, like I say, you get them from Costco. If I remember, I will. If they've got a link, I'll put a link down below. I'm sure they are available on the website as well. Um, thanks for watching, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.